Hi everyone, welcome to Does Nothing Gaming. Today we're playing Pathfinder's Rise of the Rune Lords Adventure Pack 1 Scenario 2. What we released on the first episode was Adventure Pack Scenario 3. What happened to Scenario 1? Well, we played them out of order on accident. So, the next video that you will watch is Scenario 1. This video is Scenario 2. And the previous video, which you can watch by clicking around here, maybe that, uh, is going to be Adventure 3. Uh, all that really means is that we have access to a couple of powers or a skill upgrade and maybe some cards that we shouldn't have had access to. Uh, in, in all honesty, wouldn't have made a huge difference to the gameplay through this scenario or the next scenario that we play. Um, and we correct it and play scenarios 4 and 5 in the correct order. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Dan, do you have anything to say? Dan's right here. He'll be back. Not dead. <clears throat> so before you start, I'm going to read this. Okay, so we're back uh, playing the Burnt Offerings Adventure. Today our scenario is Local Heroes. Um, everyone in town wants to thank the Heroes of Sandpoint, which is us, for saving them from the recent goblin raid, but we have a feeling darker times are on the horizon. Explore the town, visit its most significant landmarks, and gather our allies. We'll need them. Woo! So in this scenario, um, if we acquire an ally, we can immediately attempt to uh, uh, close the location. Uh, if we fail to acquire an ally, discard the top card of the blessing deck to win. We have to close all locations. So there's actually not going to be a lot of dice uh, rolling for combat in this one because it's not particularly combat heavy, but there are a few monsters here and there. I'm going to uh, let Lini start off in this one. Yay! So after our long fought battle, I decided to spend some time in the academy brushing up on some of my spells and other things that might pop up here. So, day one. And because I'm in the academy, on at this location, on your first exploration on a turn, if you encounter anything other than a spell, after the exploration, you may explore again. So if this isn't a spell, I get to keep going. Oh, it's a spell. Sanctuary. Yay, spell sanctuary. Spell you know very well. Yes. No matter how many times you get drunk and try to forget it. Every <laughs> time. So I'm going to start by revealing my dog to give myself a d4. And I'm just going to roll off my blessing. Or off my wisdom roll, because it's a divine... This is a divine check. Okay, so it's my divine check, so it's plus one. Plus two. So I rolled a five plus one, so I get the sanctuary spell. Hooray. Now, do I want to keep going? No, I want to hold on to my dog. I am actually going to call that the end of my first turn. Discard down to five. Three, four, five. I am going to start in the woods. In the woods. And I found, as, uh, I found some bracers of protection. Uh, intelligence and arcane. So I am super smart. I have a d6. Woo! Get by so racers! <laughs> oh, you didn't. I did. Uh. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not going to explore, but I'm going to use my spyglass to discard the top two cards of my location deck and put them back in any order. So you discard the spyglass to check. Yeah. Anything good? No. Alright. Uh, spyglass is discarded. Where's the next one? Oh, there we go. And I will draw a card. And it'll be your turn. Yay! So I'm still in the academy. And... Ooh. I have to fight the only monster. It looks like a someone. Golden Pyro. Yeah, it looks like someone accidentally summoned themselves a nice little Pyro. So after you fight him, one's going to. Uh, you mean he's going to deal one fire damage to you? Oh no! After the encounter, right? Eh? And I already burned that. Oh well, I guess I'm going to fight him. What's my combat? It's a combat eight. So my best bet would be to discard a card. I'm not going to recharge anything to help out. Okay. I don't think you need it for an eight. Uh, let me see here. Do I really want to bump up my attack to a 10? Hmm. What's my base strength? Four. Oh! That would be a perfect roll. I don't want to risk it. So I'm going to discard my Sage, which is actually kind of not the greatest. Actually, 
I'm going to discard a cure. Don't worry, I have another one. So I'm going to discard a cure to give myself a strength of 10 to shapeshift into an animal of something, I guess. I'm going to reveal my ally with the animal trait to get another d4. And then that will be my roll. Oh, I have to discard a card after this, don't I? Yep. So I roll a 10. She beat him. So I beat him. And now I have to discard down by one. At least you get to explore again. Yeah. Shoot. Ah, well, it looks like I'm losing my stage anyways. And I get sleep! <laughs> Arcane and intellect? Yeah. Aye. Well, not very good intellect. So, my base intellect is a d4. I'm going to reveal really, my doggy. You don't really want that spell that bad in No, I know, but... So I revealed an ally to give myself another d4. And I rolled a 5. So you get it? Yay, I got sleep! And I'm going to call that my turn. Two, three, four. Five. Even knowing what's in these woods... I'm going to do some fighting. Alright, um... So you run into a goblin, goblin warrior. Goblin warrior. He's going to face my returning throwing axe, which is going to give me two d8. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Wait. Six. Seven, ten, eleven. eleven. Sorry, I beat <laughs> So you just absolutely wreck him again. And then I'm going to use my crow to explore again, and I know what that is. So I'm going to do some more fighting. Yay! If you do not defeat the rat swarm by at least four, shuffle it into the deck. So I am. Uh, so I'm actually going to fight this and recharge this weapon. And uh, so I get two D8 plus one and a D6. Right. Ooh. And you roll six. Six plus five is an 11. Yeah. So you beat him by three. Shuffle that that came from still counts as defeated. Uh, so we have to shuffle him back in. We have to, yeah, because he's not undefeated. And so... Wow, uh, that sucks. We have one more. One more. Oh, it's a shame I got rid of that card that has one more. Oh well. Uh, and at the end of my turn, I'm going to look and see what's next. It's a pit trap. Oh no. Now it's on to my turn. What's that blessing do, anyways? Discard, bury this card to add two dice to a check to defeat a monster. Alright, so at my location, I am still hanging around at the academy. And I run into an ally. Crud. How many allies are in this deck? Two? Yes. Two. Alright, so... I need... So, I'm... S decided to stop and talk to the Night Watch guys at the Academy. Mm. Nothing else better to do, I guess, at this time. Do you know Jon Snow? Do you know... Yeah, do you know Jon Snow? Has he been around? Do you know if he knows anything? Is he still alive? <laughs> so, I'm gonna go against the Wisdom check on this guy, which is a 7, so I need to beat a 7. So I have my base 10 for wisdom. I'm going to reveal my dog yet again to add another d4. I really should have given myself that plus 1. I've used it every turn so far. So I'm going to do that, and I need to beat a 7. 1, 5, plus 1, 6, so I do not beat the Night Watch. Okay, and that's not a... Uh... Nope, so I get to explore again for free. And I run into an item, Potion of Energy Resistance? Yeah. What is that? Intellect? Intellect or craft. Or right. Intelligence or craft. So, I need to roll my Intelligence, which is a d6. I will reveal my ally to add another d4. I'm really happy I figured out that, <laughs> that ability. So I roll a 7. So I got a nice potion. So, this... Now you can spend a card to explore again, but that was your first... It's only on your first exploration that you get the free. Yeah. Okay, so that's that. Um, I could banish... I could discard... I need to discard down five. That's going to be the end of my turn. Yeah, goodbye, potion. 
Do I want to stay in these parts? No. Well, you know what's coming up. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. just trying to figure it out. You know there's a trap coming, so. Yeah, I know, but that's okay. Alright, uh, wisdom perception or. Dexterity or acrobatics. So I'm just going to discard my thieves' tools and uh, beat that's, that. That's the one you got from last game. Yep. What's that? It just lets you automatically buy It says time. discard this to defeat a barrier whose highest difficulty to defeat is 11 or lower. Nice. Done. <laughs> uh, burn a blessing of the gods to explore again. Bloody rat swarm again. Those bloody rat swarms. Uh, so I'm on dexterity and that and that and that. Oh, I can't keep this card. Because uh, I really want to beat these guys, I'm actually going to spend a whole bunch to get rid of this. Uh, so it's going to be a d8, a d6. So you're just using the normal longbow. Strength die. If I'm not proficient with weapons. And then I'm going to add another d8, burning a blessing of the gods. Yeah, this is not my great longbow, but uh, let's see what happens here. 10, 11 plus 5 is 16. So you just explode these poor so rats. So these bloody rats are finally gone. But it cost me a lot to do it. And then just drop the They're rest of your card. Is this a recharge or a discard? That's a recharge. For your combat check, reveal this card. Your modified strength if you're in proficient. If you are proficient, you may yeah, discard this card to add 1d4. No, it's a discard. At the bottom, if you add the 1d4. Did you add the 1d4? No. no. Oh, okay, so it's just a reveal. And uh, to end my turn, I'm going to look at what's next. It's a warlord. Oh, God, I hate warlords. I hate these bloody... These would suck. So I'm just hanging around in the academy still, and I found... Aid! Discard With divine the... six. Ooh, it's not bad. Discard this card to add 1d6 to a check. Hey, that's not bad. No. Nope. And I can help you with stuff, too. So, it's a... What was it? Is it a divine? Yep, Wisdom or Divine 6. Ooh, it's a Divine. So, Sam, as always, my ally is going to add a D4. I'm still trying to figure out how my Thieves tools help me get around a pit trap. <laughs> <laughs> the thing just disappears, you take out your, your tools, you're like, well, it's already open. I'm going to lock this. <laughs> oh, you know what I did? I, in, this is how I saw it. I saw like the, the mechanism that would have triggered it, and I cut it, and it was like, bloop, and I'm like, I'm just going to walk around. <laughs> Clever. Alright, so I got my dog. And my your yep, thank you dog. This dog has helped me so much this turn. It's a good thing. I wonder how the all the other academy or the academy people feel about me having a dog running around. No, not there! Anyway, so my base is of ten, so I'm gonna roll a fourteen against the six. Eh, do I wanna burn anything else? Nah. So I roll a six. Nine plus two, so I get my eight spell. Hooray! You get explore again? Um. Yeah, might as well. I'm gonna burn a blessing to explore yet again. Levitate. Well, levitate. Intelligence or arcane? Yeah, I don't have either of those. It just allows you to move. For free? Yeah, uh, move a character. All right. So is it a knowledge check? No, it's arcane. arcane. So four. So I do not pass that. One, two, three, is that four, the end five. Of your turn? That is the end of my turn. Okay. I am going to fight this warlord. Woo. It was a ten. And I have to subtract one from each thing. So I am going to use my shock bow plus one. So that'll give me two d8. Do you need aid? <laughs> <laughs> no, I should be able to. Yeah, I got him. You wrecked him, isn't it minus one? Yeah, break? it's still ten on <laughs> plus fifth, like uh, it was sixteen. So he's wrecked. <laughs> uh, this warlord comes up. Oh, I got this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I will. Uh, I don't really want to explore again. I probably should though. Should I explore again? I should explore again. Well, we need to explore again. Ooh, heavy crossbow. Isn't that the one you wanted? Eh, not quite. I wanted the Death Bane crossbow, but that's fine. Well, at least we know that's Dexterity the Dexterity and ranged. So, I only get... You want aid? Uh, that's a d6. Give a blessing of the gods. 
No, but I can aid. So yeah, I'll take that aid. So you got a d6. I need to see if I can recheck this. Because this gives me a 1d10. Can I add my ally roll to this check? No. No. Alright, so I need to be at an 8 on a divine, so I get a plus 2. I got a 3. So I do not get to recharge that. So I'm trying for my heavy crossbow and he does a... a oh, two? I lost it! You rolled a 2? Oh no! Oh, two Wait, your rank's plus 3, aren't you? Yeah, plus 4, 6. You needed seven. I oh needed no! Seven. I didn't have my crow. Oh. oh, I really wanted that card. That sucks. That does suck. Oh, that's brutal. I hate when that happens. All right, I'm drawing uh, a card. Finishing my turn. Oh, you have your D12. That sucks. Though. All right, Exploring the academy still? I am going to stay in the academy! Is this my blessing? Yeah. Alright, so there's the other ally. Of a dexterity or a... Oh, I don't know if I can beat this one. That's actually a good ally for you, though. Mm -hmm. So I need to get a dexterity of 8. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to discard this. I can't I failed that roll. Yeah, that's not good. So, I'm going to discard my sleep spell to give increase my dexterity, so I transform into a monkey, for no reason. I'm going to reveal an ally card with the animal trait to get another d4, so I need to beat an 8. Mm -hmm. Alright. I get a 9! So I get to keep the ally. And you can explore again, but you need to succeed. I would try closing this location down. Um, it's only got two things left, but... How many spells left? Well, we've got a lot of turns left. So you can just explore again, or you can try and close it. On closing, you may shuffle a spell from your discard pile into your deck. Alright, so before I go ahead, can I do a spell now? I don't know. Or do I have to explore first? Well, you've explored. Oh yeah, so... I need to close it now. Oh, and I probably can't do that. Uh, we'll go for the try for the closing it. So I'm going to go on my intellect, or my intelligence, so I need to beat a six. six. We both need to crit it in order to beat it. I need to crit that, eh? And a five. So, you don't close so it. I don't get to close it now. And I don't think you can explore again because you tried to close, close it first. It. Yeah. On your first exploration, if you encounter anything other than a spell after the exploration. Yeah, so I tried to close it, so I don't get to pre-explore again. Okay, my turn. Yeah, that'll be the end of my turn. Staying in the woods, because it's been so nice so far. Ooh, Potion of Ruggedness. Intelligence and craft. Oh, I didn't... I'm just going to take a d6 for this. <laughs> and crits it. See that survival check? I've never seen a survival check. I discarded to get a card that I missed. Uh, I'm just going to discard down. And then my turn. <laughs> Banish this card to get a card back. Alright, so I'm going to explore here. And get my spell oh, of force, force missile. Intelligence arcane. Yeah. Okay. It's only four. Basic though. force attack arcane. Okay. Ah. So it's going to be reveal my ally to get to do this. I'm going to use my intelligence of six because I have to roll against intelligence. Come back, to dog. And I rolled a six, so I get it. You have a one use force missile. Woohoo! Are you going to try and do it again? You can explore again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I might as well. You have to discard yeah, something. I'm going to discard this, but instead of discarding it, I'm going to recharge it. Ooh, but it's a good one. I'm oh, recharge. I shouldn't have done that. It's a dexterity disable or a strength melee. Or a strength melee? Yeah. Strength melee, eh? Dexterity or strength. Ooh, strength. Okay, so I'm going to discard this to give me a d10 for my strength check. Yep. Let me see if I can add anything else to that roll. Nope, that's an explore. That's not good. That's not going to help. That's not going to help. Alright, so, I don't have much to help myself with this card. I don't have anything to help you. I have something to help me if I was doing it, but I have nothing for you. Damn it, I shouldn't have explored then. It's okay, it only right. gives you 1d4 random items from the box. Oh, it's items? Oh. Yeah. Alright, so, I'm rolling my d10. I roll a four. Goodbye, battered chest. Bye bye, chest. Now you're gonna try and close this location? I guess I have to. 
Oh, I still have to close it when there's nothing left? Uh, Rule checks. Well, I rolled a six. Okay, so it's six. Alright, what's the thing that went closing? So, while I'm closing, you may shuffle a spell from your discard pile back into my deck. So, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go and find... Now, do I want Cure or Aid back, Andrew? Probably Aid. I'm ready. Alright, so I'm going to shuffle Aid back into my deck because I closed that location. Okay. I'm going to stay in these woods. Because I'm boar hunting. Woo! Use my shot crossbow. Before the encounter, succeed at a wisdom survival 7 check. Oh, oh, now I don't have my potion of ruggedness. Or the difficulty to defeat, defeat the tick wood boar is increased by 2. So it's a d6 plus 2. So you have to roll perfect? Yeah, so it's, uh, it's a 10 to beat it. I'm not that worried. So. 5 plus five. 6 plus, yeah, so 5 plus 5 is 10, so I beat it. Woohoo! Man, you're just having a lot of fun in that forest, aren't you? Hey, yeah. a guy! Hey, a warlord! Hey, a boar! Hey, some rats! Multi-shot! Your turn. Alright, so now that I've uh, led the academy dry of all of its... Do you have a cure? Yeah. I only have the one in my hand, so it's just one left in my deck. Alright, so... I'm desperate. I'm just... Let me find out where I want to go. I'm going to go to the general store. Yay! I don't really want to go to the waterfront. I still haven't found any of the allies in here, so there's got to be at least one ally. Well, it's one of the two, right? Did you check the card at the end of your turn? No. It's an ally. Alright, so there's two cards left in that. So, that means the other thing would be the... another barrier. Alright, so I've moved myself over to the general store. Um, Andrew needs some health, so I'm going to cast Cure on Andrew. Oh, I have to get your location. Yeah, on Harsk. On Harsk? It's okay, well, you can do it. Next okay, it's so desperate. before I do anything, I'm going to detect magic while I'm standing around in the store and see what the top card is. It's the ally. Breed. Another grizzled mercenary. Yeah. He followed us from our last location. He really wants to be with us. I told him no at the end of the last one. <laughs> Alright, so uh, discard this card. Location, if it's a blessing or has a magic trait, you may immediately encounter it. Boop. Turn it to the top of the deck. All right, so now I need to see if I fail at keeping this. Six plus two. I'm going to recharge this card. If we're playing that rate. One, two, three, four. All right, so oh well. Um, I have to do this now, don't I? Because I just moved here. So I'm going to encounter this mercenary diplomacy or charisma. D8. So I need to roll a D8 to see if I can. Persuade this guy, do I have anything to help? Uh, I'm gonna hold on to that. Four! So I don't succeed. Okay, and then if we fail to acquire an ally, we discard the top card of the Blessings deck. Blessings deck. So we're actually getting in. One, two, three, four. 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 Here. Alright, and so I drew my card, and that's the end of me turn. Alright. Blessing of Desna. Alder and Foxgrove. Charisma Diplomacy 4. Oh, that's not good. I only have a D4. Do you want aid or do you want to save it? Uh, I should get aid because I don't want to burn through this anymore. So can you give me an aid? Yeah. Alright, so here's aid. I wish I had him before I missed aid on that stupid crossbow. So yeah. what do I get for the aid? Uh, so you add 1D6 to a check. Okay. So I need, uh, I need 4. Alright, so roll yours and I'll see if I can tie them. Oh god! So now we have the option of closing it. Yeah, which I'm going to try to do. Succeed a wisdom or survival check. Alright, so I'm going to see if I get to recharge this. I roll 3 plus 2 is 5, I don't get to recharge that. So in order to close this location, I need to crit on my d6. I need a 4. You need a minimum of four? Yeah, because I have a plus two on survival. Alright, so let's see what we're missing out on here. Large chest! Aw, oh, man! Your luck. Is that the weapon one? Yeah! Aw, oh, come on! And I really need a weapon because I can actually use them now. Yeah. 
All right, so it's my yeah. turn. One, two, three, four. Flip this. Okay, so if you encounter so anything, sad I lost it on the crossbow. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Well, there's two weapons. Oh, in here. I got a. No, there's two weapons. Oh, there's two. There's no weapons in here. I'm putting this and down. There's no spells. Oh, you're discarding down to five. Yeah. All right. So if I encounter anything other than an armor, an item, or a weapon, I may explore again. Okay. So. I got an item! The Amulet of Fortitude. Reveal this card to add one dice to your fortitude check. Wow. It's pretty good, actually. Yeah. Constitution is... So I got a D8. I have nothing I can add to this roll. What's this? Reveal... Defeat a henchman or a villain. Oh, wow. This kind of useless. What's this? Alright, so I need to beat a 5 on an 8. I rolled a 4. Wait, was that Constitution or Fortitude? Nope. So I fail that. Okay. Bye, Amulet of Fortitude. Thanks for coming out. Angel could have used you, I guess. Harsk. Yep, I have nothing else I can do this turn, so... You is Harsk. Harsk? Oh, right. Uh, okay. Alright. I'm going to move to the general store. Welcome, welcome. I can finally cure you. Cave of Escape. Now that would be hilarious on my dwarf. And now you don't see me. I don't want to fight you. This is basically me. Hold on. <laughs> Don't see me! <laughs> I'm not here right now. Dexterity and stealth of 8, so the most I can get. I have to crit on my D8. No, I have to guess 7. Oh my goodness. Well, at least your dice are nice to you today. Shut up. Except for that one that it mattered. Oh! Alright. I'm discarding down, ending my turn. Okay, so... I should probably get discard. Okay, so, first things first, before I do anything, I'm going to cast Cure on Andrew. Harsk. Okay, uh, so I roll 1d4? Yeah, plus 1. 5. Nice. <laughs> so, shuffle this up and I'll take 5. Okay. Go okay, ahead. so. Let's see if you can recharge it. Let me see if I get to recharge this. I need to be the divine of 8. 9 plus 2. Three, four, so, I recharge five. my Cure. Decent. Oh, I didn't get my potion of ruggedness. I think I got my cape of escape. Hooray! Okay, so before I even explore, <laughs> it's so funny. I'm going to discard this, and I'm going to choose a type. I'm going to go with, uh, let me see here. I'm going to go with weapons. Alright, so I'm going to choose weapons, so if one of these top threes is a weapon, you get. Alright, discard. If there are any of the cards chosen, set them aside. Oh, we played that wrong last time, eh? If there are any cards of the chosen type, set them aside, return the remaining cards to the deck, shuffle it. Oh, that's what I did wrong last time. Oh, wait, no, I did that right. Turn the remaining card to the deck, shuffle it, then put the cards you set aside in any order at either the top. Oh yeah, I totally screwed that up last time. And oh, this time. Almost always screwed that up this time. Alright, so, this goes here. The card I set aside goes on the top. I need to check on against my divine to see if I get to keep this. Yes, I do. Have you explored yet? Not yet. And now I get to explore. Short tour. Yeah, it was like the top deck anyway, card anyways. So I need to read a strength of four roll. So, since there are no henchmen or anything, I'm going to discard that to give myself a d8 for my roll against strength. And I roll a four. So I just barely got it. Yep. Uh, for your combat check, reveal this card to roll your strength or melee die plus 1d6. You may additionally discard this card. Another one Is that the end of your turn? Yeah. If you aren't proficient with weapons. Okay, so it's a good thing I chose the weapons proficiency. I found a mace! That's another six. Another six. So you get that one too. Oh, sure, when you want something. Uh, and then I'm actually going to discard. I'm going to finish my turn, but I'm going to be discarding three cards out of my hand. Pick up three, three cards. <laughs> so, do you want to stay there and finish that deck, and I'll move out? Well, because um, I got my flip this over. We only have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine turns left. All right, so after your turn, I'm so going to move I, the water front. I think you should move here now and start doing it. Oh, it's the end of your turn. Yeah. Are you going to check the top card? Uh, yeah, I will. It's a card, so I can try closing it after this. All right, so I'm going to run over here. Which so, is good, because I can banish my keep with escape. Yay! So I ran over to the waterfront to see what's going on down there, and first thing I do is fall right into a pit trap. Basically, you fell through the dock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I fail, I fall through the dock. All right, so since I have, it's a wisdom, so I'm going to roll on my wisdom. I'm going to reveal an animal to add a d4, and that's all the little tricks I got for this turn. So I rolled a nine. nine, which beats it, and if defeated, you may immediately explore again. I'm not having a good day at the waterfront. Ooh, sirens. A random siren appears. All damage dealt by the siren is mental damage that cannot... Ooh, that's bad. Yeah, sirens are not nice. Check to defeat wisdom. So I should have checked that first. <laughs> and I can't do it. I can't help you because it's only on combat checks. Okay. So I'm on my own for this roll. So I'm going to reveal my dog to give me a D, the D4. Since my base wisdom is a 10. Can I add anything else to make this even better? I really need to close this location, don't I? Well, it's, this is not an ally, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Alright, so that's going to be my roll. Um, all damage is irreducible, if undefeated, if undefeated. Ooh, I don't really like that. So, to increase odds in my favor, I'm going to get a Blessings from the God to give myself another d10. And roll a 1. 13. 13, thank you. Uh, yeah, 13 on my wisdom, so 14, so I absolutely destroy you. And we don't do anything on that card. Right? Okay. okay. If undefeated, you have to do that bad thing. No, I was checking to make sure it wasn't, like, regardless it does damage. Oh, okay. So I'm going to end my turn there because I don't want to discard any of these. I have a pretty good hand going. All right. Guard. How's your health looking? Uh, could be better. But it's, that's okay, because we don't have a lot of fighting to do. Um, recharge this card, perception, banish this card, constitution or fortitude. It's a d12. Wow. Hmm? I'm gonna roll my d12. You have a d12? Yeah, on constitution fortitude, so this is actually a plus <laughs> 10. So I, I get him. So you absolutely get him. Uh, and then... You may immediately attempt to close your location. So I will banish him to close that location. What? You can do that? Yeah. Banish a card from my hand to close the location. Oh, wow. So I got him and then banished him immediately. So you're just going to close it? sucks because we lost out on a magic shield, but we didn't have to fight two Geth Hounds, so... Oof. And I'm not sure the shield would have been particularly good for either of us anyways. Well, I'm not even proficient with... And I'm only proficient in light armors. I don't really even have that yet. Alright, so we're down to the... Uh, the last pile! Yeah. Alright, so... I'm still hanging out at the waterfront. Oh, Oops. Alright. Yeah, we gotta get through here, so if you encounter a... Uh, a uh, guy... If we encounter an ally, we kind of have to... After it's Okay, so... I got a whole... Oh, candle. that's a good one. Bury this You card. want that item. To shuffle 1d6 random cards from the Blessings discard pile into the Blessings. Oh wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, I had that. It saved my ass. And it's a Divine roll too. Alright, so. It's a really good item for you. For it us. Is. Uh, my Wisdom is a base 10. I'm going to reveal the dog to add a d4. Do you have any Blessings or anything? Anything you can burn to help me out here? Uh, yeah. Here's a Blessing on the dogs. Woohoo! So I'll add another d10. So it's Divine? Yes, it is divine. So it's on my divine roll of plus two. <laughs> so I roll a nine, a one, so I, I get this. I absolutely wreck this card. Alright, so I get that. So I rolled, what was that? I rolled like an 18 on the holy candle. Okay, so I have too many cards in my hand, so I'm going to cast Cure on myself to shuffle... 1d4. Uh, this is going to be the end of my turn after this, so I get 2 plus 1, so 3 cards back into my hand. Or into my deck. 
put it on I'm doing this. Let me make sure one, two, three, Make sure you keep that holy candle in your hand because we can use it to extend the game. Yep. All right. Exploring to find a specter. Three, one, two, three random cards. And now I need to see if I get to keep this one second. Yep. So this gets recharged. So uh, this waterfront's kind of haunted by this specter. Man, this waterfront. Yeah, I know. It's pain, but. It's so I've got to use my longbow. It's going to give me 2d8 I can't cast offensive spells on my on your turn. No. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna flip my discard this card to add it unmodified. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna burn my blessing to add another d8. He's a combat 11. Hey. So, 10, 18, 23. <laughs> so check to defeat does not what? It has magic. Oh, okay. Don't worry. Uh, and that is all I can do. Yes, I should move there. For the record, Harsk was in the waterfront. <laughs> it was the only place left for him to be. Yes. After we've uh, shut right, down the academy, ahead. shut down the general store, chopped down the woods. So, the start of my turn, I'm going to bury this card to add 1d6. Can I add the ally rule to this? I don't know what it says. It just says, you may reveal an ally with the animal trait to add 1d4 to your check. Yep. But it's not a check. Oh yeah, okay. Alright, so I won't do that trick here. So I'm going to add 5 blessings back into the deck. From the blessing discard pile. It doesn't say that we have to random. No, but it, it, it pretty much is. All right, so I'm gonna bury this. Four, five. Oh, let's put these at the bottom. All right, so that bought us some time. How many cards are left in there? I wonder. Well, there's two allies in here. I just pulled up one of the allies. Nope. Look at the bottom. One, two, three, well, four, have, five, have, six. So we can burn through this. All right, so. I run into this guy, which is a charisma or a constitution. Thank goodness for holy candles! Standard bearer, so she's holding her flag. Standard bearer. right now is Andrew is Harsh crying over his lost crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Alright, so. Recharge this card to that one. Constitution, constitution, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so. Constitution or charisma is better for me. Well, they're both D8s. Alright, so, I'm going to use my Charisma, and I'm going to try to charm her with my doggy. So I need to beat a 6 with this roll. And I roll a 3 with this roll. Did you get her? No. I don't get her. So she runs away crying because the dog scared her. Yeah, your dog attacked her? Yeah, my dog attacked her. Either that or my character hasn't showered in two years. Are we, uh... I'm not going to discard to continue, so it's your turn. Oh, there's the other ally. Cydric Drakus, human bard, charisma diplomacy, recharge this card to add a 1d6 to acquire an ally, banish this card to return an ally from my discard pile to my hand. Whoa. Yeah. That's not bad. So. That's not going to help. No, that's going to help. So we're going to burn through the rest of this deck? Well, no, because we're going to I'm gonna hey. lose a card. I can't. Unless you can play A, I can't get this guy. Okay. No, I can't play A. Well, I don't want to burn it. Um, so I, I have four, but I need a five. So going back to your uh, when you were fighting the Spectre, yeah. we should have some... I, it still... I know it still wrecked it. Yeah. But when I fought the Siren... You still beat it. Okay. Just checking. Just want to make sure... All right, so that was the ally. So it's your turn. So now we have to, we have to get through the rest of this before this comes in. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep exploring and get a mercenary hence or a monster. Yep. The difficulty of the case to venture deck number of the current scenario. So he's a combat eleven. Yeah, and I can't add my D force to you because I'm in the same location. When using a weapon. Okay, so instead of using my sword, I'm going to hit him with some holy light. So it's like the dice. Power to look at the card at the end. 
on it. Alright, so I'm going to use my Divine Dice, plus 2d6. And because he doesn't have Undead or anything, I'm going to reveal my dog to add a d4. And then i got to check to see if I can recharge that card after this attack. So, I roll 8, oh, oh, oh. 9, 6. 15. Plus 2. 17. So, I blinded him with light. And then, I get to recharge my holy light. And can you explore again? Yes, I am definitely going to explore again. So I'm going to burn that to explore again. And find a crow. Woohoo! Woo makes sense at the waterfront, kind of. Actually, makes a lot of sense. Unlike that siren and the specter and that trap pitfall. So, this is a wisdom. Oh, it's a wisdom. So, same thing I always do. Dog for d4. Base wisdom. That's all I can do for now. And I roll a six. So, you get him. so I get him. Plus my plus one for a seven. Might as well. Do you want to try closing it now? Uh, there's two left. I can explore another round. And then, well, we're almost done here, so. Alright, so I'm going to discard. And by that I mean recharge this animal. Because of my abilities. And see what this card is. Oh, wow. Tickwood Boar. And this is the one where you have to succeed in a Wisdom Survival of 7. Well, it's wisdom a good or Survival of 7. My Wisdom is a 10. I got 4 plus 1. So he's a 10. So he's a 10 now? Oh no. If only I had a... Hmm, do I want to... It's like somebody took this from the woods, sailed, like, sailed over, and this thing's got off the boat and is running amok. Yeah, these guys really need to get some better locations to go. So I'm going to discard a card to use my Strength of 10. And then reveal an ally to get a d4. How badly do I need to beat this guy? What if I don't beat him? Uh, I have tons of help. It just shuffles back in. So I rolled a five. five. So you take the difference in damage. Five from ten, so I just lose the rest of my hand. So five plus, did you have any bonuses? No. It was just a straight five roll. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. <clears throat> Parsky explores and finds that same boar. And he's not playing around. So shock longbow. D8. D8. Discarding the shock bow to give myself a D6. No? You don't want to? Not yet. Oh, uh, wisdom or survival check for me is a D6. Oh, we have to de summon two. and defeat a bandit henchman. T I know. So I, I do get my 6 again. Yep. And then, so he's only an 8. And he's Four absolutely two. 19. Oh! With my bonuses. Minus 3. So 16. Still wrecked him. Uh, I got a full hand <laughs> I don't really even know him. And I, <laughs> I have nothing to, with which to explore, so... Oh, you could discard down to 2. Well, that's okay, because... I find a locked passage. Oh, man. If defeated, examine the top card of the location deck. Yeah. Well, what happens if I undefeat it? Do I still lose health if I undefeat it? No. It just... Alright, so it's a dexterity. My dexterity is a d6. Non-combat wisdom or intelligence. Nope. Not a knowledge. I think it just gets banished if we don't beat it, so... Because it doesn't say to keep up or anything. Oh, okay. So you, you're basically like walking down and you're like, what does this door do? Yeah, it's just a locked door. And I have a card, but it's only on my combat, on non-combat, so I can't help you. I have a crowbar. So I rolled a four, I do not pass that. So now we got to try... Now you can either decide to stop, or you can try and close this location. I'm going to stop, because I don't have anything to help out with, so I'm going to discard these four to draw another four. Okay, so the, the only thing I can do is, uh, at this location, so the only thing I can do now is try, try and close this to win the game, is to summon and defeat a bandit henchman. I happen to have one right here. Hey. Before the encounter, I have to recharge a card of choice from my hand, so I will recharge this, and now... Um, I don't think we're going to have enough dice for this. Uh, I'm going to 
he, so he tried to pick my wallet and was running away. So I'm throwing my returning throwing axe at him. <laughs> and I'm playing a Blessing of the Gods. So I'm going to get... Uh, what is it? D8. D8. Plus a D8. I can recharge this card to add a D6. And then a plus my the blessing. Gods. And then plus a so blessing. So another D8. Plus you can only play two. one. Uh, I can only play one? Uh, and I don't know if you can play another blessing because I've got a blessing. It's like you can only play one of the same type of boon. Like you can't play two different weapons. Oh, I didn't know that. So... I think 3d8 plus that, plus my bonus, so 5 minus 1 for me, minus 4. Big roll. Shit. 1, 2, so 9, Eight. 11, minus 4 is 7, but my it's a ranged 1. So, uh, so where's, you, where's my... Oh, well, you recharged where, it already, didn't uh, you? Yeah, so 11... Plus, plus uh, 5 is 16, minus 4 is 12 to beat them. We've closed this location, and all characters at this location discard a card. So, Bloop. And we have won! Yay! We are successful in another adventure. So, to finish off, uh, we should be drawing a random ally from the box. So I'm going to give this a quick shuffle. And uh, that will be the end of Candle. this video. Uh, we will have to sit and you know rebuild our decks and sort out what we what, we what we've got. The unfortunate thing is I lost the only thing I really would have liked, but I've got an interesting choice uh, ahead of me. Um, I yeah. finally picked up my weapon. Dini, can you please choose a, a card? Oh, I can't even keep it yet. Ooh. Uh, this one. And I will choose this one. Ooh, it's not a bad ally, actually. And what ally did I get? I got a standard bear. I got a filter. That's Sorry. going to be it. Thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed. See you guys on the next game. Bye. Bye.